happy Friday, April 5th. Look at this mess. It's snowing, it's heavy, it's wet. It's turning to rain, I just got to work and I have to deal with this before I even get customers in. Hello, I'm gonna do a little mini vlog for today and tomorrow uh, to coincide with the launch of the Titty Gaga sock pattern and we're gonna do prizes at the end. So this is just a little hello and uh, what my day is looking like so far. I'll be back later. Just rinsing out the bottle filler with some sanitizer and getting ready for my first customer of the day. So I'm sitting at my desk. It is almost four hours since last time I talked to you. It is uh, a busy day here. I'm working on my own because the weather was yucky. And uh, yeah, it's been busy so far today. So I've not been here very much and there's not been too much to show you. The next thing on my list is, let me see if I can turn you around, uh, that just arrived. We weren't expecting it today because of the weather, but I have a 2,500 pound order that needs to be unpacked. Yeah, I may leave that until Brad is with me tomorrow. It depends on what my energy level is like. <laughs> because it's pattern release day and it's been a busy day on the interwebs as well. For all of your lovely comments. Um, I'll be back if and when I have anything else to show you and talk to you about. It is about 2.30. I work until 7 right now. I am working on getting uh, a newsletter out um, for my subscribers, for my wine business, and uh, fighting a little bit of technology. I'm having an issue with some formatting. So I thought I'd come on here and have a little deep breath and uh, have a little break and then I'll go back to it in a bit. I'm just waiting for my next round of customers to come in to bottle their wine. Things are melting nicely outside. Uh, it has started raining, so that all that snow and yuck from this morning is on its way out again. I will check in with you a little later. For a quick little visit. So this little vloggy minisode episode is going to be just some day in the life stuff, a little design chat which we're going to do in a second and and then tomorrow I'm going to do the draws for the KSH Cal 2024. So that was the um, soft knitting cowl that just ended, knit along that just ended on March 31st. I'm going to draw winners for that and I'll input that information. I'll put that footage a little further on in the episode. Everything will be timestamped below and everything that I talk about will be linked below. So Friday, April 5th, it was a big day this morning. I hit publish on my latest sock pattern. So this is the Titty Gaga socks that um, are a sequel to the Tits Up socks that I had last year. So if you were on the last episode, you will have already seen a little sneak peek of this. So it's a top down sock with a fun little detail down the back. We're all circular round motifs to be boobs, nipples, boob themed. <laughs> in this beautiful pink yarn, which is also called Titty Gaga from Yarn Indulgences. She's out of stock right now, but she's got a pre-order in her shop and um, reach out to either Deborah or I and um, we can help you out. So we are top down with this great fun pattern down the front and then a little panel on the leg, garter edged heel flap, gusset down to the toe. 
and that color is showing up beautifully. So this pattern is a fundraiser for Canadian Breast Cancer Research from April 5th to April 13th. Um, and I also thought, while well, I was not sleeping last night, <laughs> I had a thought that I should also put tits up as part of this promotion fundraising. It's not a promotion, it's a fundraiser this week. So any purchases of either Titty Gaga or Tits Up, I'll have to put a picture in, I didn't bring the sock with me. Um, all of the proceeds um, from these patterns will be donated to Canadian Breast Cancer Research um, at, at when this all finishes on April 13th. So I will have the pattern linked below if you're interested. If you're not interested, if you're not a sock knitter, not interested, I completely understand. Um, if you have the time to, uh, if you're on Instagram and uh, share or like any of my things or go on Ravelry and just favorite the pattern, that helps it get a little more visible and maybe somebody else will see it who's never seen it before. So I'm going to get back to work. It is 5.35 and I've got about three hours of work to do in an hour and a half. So I'll get as far as I get and I'm back into work tomorrow with Brad, my husband, and um, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Cheers. So if you are new around here, I run a small craft winery business in New Brunswick. And I, you know, you may not have ever seen, I'm gonna flip you around here. Do, do. Welcome to the wine cellar, but we don't wine with that kind of w with that kind of wine. We store all of the wines as they're fermenting in the nursery or our crash. So this door that you see here is normally closed because we keep this temperature controlled. These are all of the wines that are in various stages of fermentation and clearing and ready to go to our customers. So if you have any questions about this, I'm, this is pretty unique to Canada is my understanding, um, this style of making wine. So if you have any questions, please leave them below and I would be happy to answer them. Saturday morning we are getting ready to go to work it is believe it or not snowing again so um, I have been working on you'll have seen a little bit of footage this morning I picked up this little um, shorty sock that I need to have finished for Monday and I thought I better put the afterthought heels in so I'm working on that and um, just as we're waiting to go not shouldn't be a terribly busy day at work today not sure what I do have to do today is I need to pull the winners for the sock cal so the uh, sock knit along ended on March 31st I have inputted all of the entries from Facebook email and Instagram onto a spreadsheet and I need to do a random comment picker or random name picker um, times eight for all the eight prize packages so that's on my list to do today. We'll see how busy it is at work. I may or may not get that done until this afternoon. And um, I'll be on to hop on and talk to you as and when the day allows. So I am being driven home from work by my partner in crime. So I always bring a sock project when I'm being driven. So this is a new cast on. I just started toe up. I'm using my book Touche Boardwalk pattern with leftover freckled whimsy, the advent skein that I had in December. These will be shorties for my daughter. Well, they'll go as long as they go. Uh, heading home, I will come back and have a chat with you when I get home and we'll do the draw for the sock knit along. Hello, it is still Saturday, April 6th. I just got home from work and thought before I take out my contact lenses and get into my pajamas, get out of my nice clothes, um, I thought I would come on and uh, do the winners of the Knit Sit Happy Knit Along, Sock Knit Along that ended on March 31st. I owe you um, announcements for prizes. So let me do a little admin first. I've got eight winners. 
I combined all of the entries from three different sources. I had entries on Instagram, on Facebook, and through email. So I've combined them all and, and created a spreadsheet on Google Drive and that has assigned everybody numbers. If you used one of my patterns, you got double entry. Um, so we had a total of 394 entries, including all of the double entries that used one of the Knit Sip Happy patterns. Thank you so much for choosing to use one of my patterns. Um, all of the winners, um, they're physical prizes, so I will need mailing addresses, and my email address is listed below. I would prefer an email um, from you instead of going through Ravelry or through uh, Instagram, just because it's easier to lose messages there, whereas Instagram, it's easier, uh, sorry, email, it's easier for me to keep track of, of messages and make sure the shipping happens in a timely manner. Um, we're in a different spot today because this isn't really a full episode and I thought I would just sit here and we don't have all of our artwork back up on the walls from Brad finishing painting, but my Monstera has just popped a beautiful new bright green leaf, so I thought we'd hang out with the plants today while we have a little chat. So. I'm also going to say all of the eight winners, if there's any of my sock patterns that you don't own yet and if you would like me to gift you a um, pattern, a digital download pattern that is one of my patterns, I'm happy to include that. So um, we'll, there'll be a physical prize and I guess there is a digital quotient if anybody would like a copy of a pattern. So what else do I need to say? 394 entries, blown away by that. You're going to send me an email. Um, I have a list here in front of me and I'm gonna be marking the prizes. I'm gonna announce prizes to go with each name just to make my life easier. So I'll tell you where all of the, where the winners came from. And if I'm smart, I might have a picture of them, but that might create more work for me. Editing self, we'll see. If I can make it happen, I'll post a picture of the socks that were the winner for the entry. But if not, um, you can just check the hashtag, it'll be on the screen, uh, hashtag KSHCal2024, and that will show you all the Instagram winners anyway. The email winners obviously um, came directly to my inbox. All right. Enough jabbering, let's get on with this. So these are all, I've already put them in plastic just to keep the bundles together. So excuse any rustling going on. Um, I'm gonna put the winner's names on the screen as well. Um, some of them I don't have actual names, I just have handles from Instagram, and that's the first case. So number 287 on my Google Drive document is learn.lifelong. So this was an Instagram entry, and the prize for you is a beautiful Cozy Meadow Sophie pouch that includes a beautiful set of stitch markers and a progress keeper, and this skein of Ginger Snap Dust Fingering. It's the Philogestin, I think that's how you say it. But I thought these, oh, I just dumped the stitch markers on the floor. I thought this was a beautiful pairing. So these will be going out in the mail together to learn.lifelong. Send me an email. And if you want a pattern, let me know. Put this back in the bag. Second winner was an email winner. This is Eileen Carter sent me a picture email. I definitely will be able to put a picture up here of Eileen socks. And this is going to be um, this beautiful project bag that I showed on the last podcast that was very kindly gifted by Monique at Blueberry Fields. So this is for you, Eileen. And if you would like a pattern, let me know. Let's put it back in the bag. Winner number three was another Instagram winner. It is Debbie Carter. Two, three, seven. Debbie, I have for you. Uh, let me make a note. City girl. The Turtle Pearl sock set in the City per City Girl colorway. My light is messing up with me a little bit. It is coming up on five o'clock here. So. This is the beautiful self-striping from Emily. 
So that will be coming to you, uh, uh, Debbie. Uh, next is another Instagram winner. It's Wendon Makes, and that's Wendy Denton. Wendy is going to be getting beautiful skein of the Yarn Indulgences Sock Marl. Just trying to get the colors to show. How are we doing? Pretty good. Oh, such a pretty color. So that is for Wendy. Your indulgences. We've got another inst. Actually, all the rest of the winners are Instagram. We had one email winner, and the rest were Instagram. I only had. I didn't have that many Facebook entries, which is fine. Um, so Bernadette is debts, bits, and stitches. It'll be on the screen. Instagram winner. This is Bernadette. And this is the gorgeous set from Ginger Snap. So it's two skeins of the Tweed DK and the beautiful project bag that I showed on the last episode. But in case you weren't here, this was a very generous donation from Kim and Colin at Ginger Snap. Beautiful, beautiful bag. And I think, yeah, it's a large tote bag is what Kim calls it. So this package is going to you, Bernadette. And that is ginger bag and yarn. Sorry about that. I thought I heard something, so I thought I better stop before. Anyway, I will splice it all together. Um, we've got next winner is Instagram, Left in Stitches. The name, I'll put it on the screen. I'm sorry if I'm saying this wrong. Is it Kavitha? Apologies. Um, I have for you a, a sock set from Turtle Pearl that the label keeps popping off of, but this is the Ohm colorway from Turtle Pearl. So it's two 50 gram skeins of self-striping with a bright green mini. I'll be shipping this, I'll be flat packing this to ship as letter mail anyway. So that is left in stitches. It'll have been on the screen. This is very rustly plastic for this one. And then the next winner Instagram is Marlin Dubay on the screen. For you, Marlin, you had lots of entries. Doubles and singles, it was great. So many repeat entries from people, and again, thank you. So I've got this beautiful creative knitter sock set called Succulents. So a really pretty main skein, and then the uh, contrast mini. And this has gotten paired with a Sophie pouch. So same thing, made by my friend Sophie, who's Cozy Meadow Knits, and she also made the beautiful stitch markers. So that is going to Marlin, Marlin. And the last one, number eight, is just underscore Joe underscore MS. And that is Joe. So Joe, I have for you a sock set from Turtle Pearl. This is the Lady Amalfia set. It's blowing out, let that color, and that's a bit better. So this is Beautiful self-striping set. Again, 250 gram minis with the uh, contrast. So that those are our eight winners. I'm going to upload and post this. Um, you can see my kitchen. Let's just do that a bit. <laughs> I'm going to upload this um, today, Saturday, April 6th. I'm going to leave it here for a few days and then I will post everything on Instagram and tag all of the winners in case I haven't heard from anybody because this has been a, uh, a giveaway, a, a knit along um, on multiple different platforms. So I don't want to insist that you watch the podcast because that's not what this was all about. So um, I'll just give um, the winners a chance to watch it because I find it's a nice surprise to kind of get a, you know, get your name mentioned um, on the YouTubes. And if I don't hear back, 
but I, sorry, then again, I will, I will do a post on Instagram midweek and tag all of the winners as well. And, um, yeah, thank you so much for participating and knitting socks for yourselves, for family. Um, yeah, it's been a joy and so fun for me to see it. And thankfully the Instagram gremlins, I guess once you get a cert, I was worried about the hashtags not showing. So I had everybody tag me, but I guess after you get the hashtag used so many times and it's popular, you start to see it because I was seeing all of the hashtags, um, which was great. Um, but at the beginning I was also going through and saving every time somebody tagged me in a post, I was saving them. So I have a saved file on my Instagram of all of the posts as well, just to make sure I didn't miss anybody. So again, 394 entries. Thank you so much. I'm going to, um, pour myself a glass of wine. I got home and got busy and didn't pour myself a glass of wine. I've got a new rosé that just came home from the store. It's a Pinot Noir rosé and I can't wait to try it. So I'm going to open a bottle of that. I'm going to edit this shenanigans together and see if I can come up with something that's coherent. If I have, you will not see me again. If I haven't, I will be back to uh, try and draw and put everything together in a reasonable semblance. I just thought it'd be fun to do this little mini sewed and a little bit of a vlog because it's not, I don't have knitting to show you per se. It was to celebrate the launch of the new sock and the fundraiser that is running right now and do these winners. And um, I have no real knitting to show you. I had planned on sitting and knitting with you last night, but I got home from work at about 7.30. We had dinner and I was knackered. It was a brutal day yesterday. Um, it, it, there was just, there's just a lot going on. Um, I don't know if you were on Instagram, but we had some vandalism and theft and damage of our uh, air con heat and air conditioning units at the back of our building. We own our building that our store is in. So this week I've been dealing with police and insurance and we had a contractor in to give us a quote and now the insurance is saying it's too much. They want a second and perhaps a third opinion and we're running with very minimal heat, um, which isn't ideal. But at least it's April, even though it's snowing outside. I'm looking, it's outside, it's still snowing. It's April and we're, we're managing. I may have to buy some space heaters this week, depending on how fast it looks like this is going to happen. So it's been a stressful week, 10 days. Um, and I said yesterday, it's been busy at the store, which is fantastic. No complaints there. But it does mean my energy was completely bleh last night. Plus it was the first day launch of the pattern. So I was doing a lot of um, time on Instagram and commenting and saying thank you for all of the shares and the loves and the likes. And yeah, it's, um, as I say, it's a joy. And so many beautiful messages thanking me for donating this money to breast cancer survivors. Um, yeah, I'm gonna tell you a quick funny story before I go. Quick, quick, cause I'm gasping for a glass of wine. After my last episode, when I showed you the socks and told you the name, um, and I put it on the screen, I got a message from a watcher who said her nickname is Gaga and she has survived breast cancer twice. I'm not going to say her real name here because I didn't ask permission, but she'd messaged me and said, what a small world, beautiful pattern and told me a little bit of the, you know, just mentioned that she'd survived breast cancer twice and her nickname from family and friends is Gaga. So I asked for her Ravelry name and I sent her a free copy of the pattern um, when it launched yesterday. I figured that was the very least that I could do um, for such a, a brave a brave lady for, for beating the beast twice. Um, as I said, I've had lots of lovely messages from survivors and family members so I am going to say goodbye, pour myself a glass of wine and uh, get this, hopefully not a mess, edited together and get it uploaded and out to you. Congratulations to all of the winners of the Sock Knit Along. And as I said, um, I'll have the email here on the screen while I'm finishing up talking. Please email me um, with your contact information, full name, address, and if you would like a sock pattern, let me know what, which one is of my, which one of my sock patterns that you would like to knit next. Thank you. As Tad let, 
I haven't had a glass of wine and I'm still stumbling over my words. I've been addicted to Ted Lasso. Anybody watching Ted Lasso? I've just finished my third rewatch of it and I'm addicted. So as I was about to say, as Ted Lasso would say, I appreciate you. <laughs> I appreciate you being here. Imaginary cheers. I'll come back and do a little mm, taste test with my Pinot Noir Rosé. Cheers, my friends, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Oh, that's delightful. The tasting notes talk um, strawberry, tangerine, and watermelon. Mmm. Yum. This is going to go down very well tonight. Cheers, my dears. Mm -hmm.